What are the opening odds for Super Bowl 54? Well, this was interesting yesterday at the Superbook. I got uh, kind of, uh, you know, next year, I got I to gotta get myself in the room as they kind of sort this out. But you don't expect that, that you know, it's going to be a total butt kicking in that second game. I mean, I, you know, I guess we all thought, you know, San Francisco could dispatch them because they did earlier in the year. But you're not going into it thinking, oh, they're going to be able to set the line at halftime. So uh, <laughs> I got to get myself in the room. But I was, it was interesting, though, because I was able to, I was going back and forth texting with Derek Wilkinson one of the odds makers at the Superbook and one of the uh, one of the managers there uh, in the second quarter as that as that Packers Niners game started to get out of hand. And he said, uh, he said, hey, we're all debating it. We're all on a, on like a mass text group and they're debating it back and forth. I'll let you know as soon as I know. He said, but we're deba- <laughs> but we're debating between chief short favorite and pick. And so I thought I would, you know, it was neat to kind of be in that group text a little bit and kind of know what they were thinking about, you know, where their logic was going, even though the Niners were manhandling the Packers. Yeah. Well, ultimately they sided with pick. Uh, John Murray said they decided with pick and he said early money was good both ways. They did put the line up at, at halftime. Like it might've even been just before halftime of that, uh, of that game yeah. uh, by Sunday evening, a couple hours afterwards, he said there's money both ways, good handle both ways, but most of the tickets on Kansas city, some decent action on San Fran too. That said, though, first move goes toward the Chiefs. It goes from pick to Chiefs minus one. 